Hey everyone! In this video I'm showing you how to create a new sticker with the help of JetBlock plugin. Now let's head over to Elementor Editor, where I will show you how to create this module. So I've got your page over here, and let's say at the top of the page you want to display this module with the new sticker. Now what I need to do is to go to Elements and find the text sticker widget. Then create a new section at the top of the page and drop this widget onto a new section. Now I want to create some space between the new sticker and the contents of the page. Now I'll go to the text sticker widget. And I'll see the general tab. I can type in the title. And I also have the responsivity settings, like I can hide certain elements on tablets and on mobile phones. You can enable showing the current date, or you can show the date of the publication of the post. Here you can set the number of the posts to be shown. Here you can set the custom query for your post, and you can query posts by categories, tags, sticky posts, etc. You can get the posts from the certain categories only, or you can exclude the posts by IDs. You can also set the post offset and filter them by custom field. You can show or hide post thumbnail, which is this picture, and set the size of the thumbnail, like so. And you can also hide it on tablets and on mobile phones. You can show some meta information about the post, like the post author, choose the icon, and you can also hide this meta on tablets and on mobile phones. For my new sticker, I'll show the post date. And I'll display it in the following way. If you want to learn more about time formatting, follow this link. You can also set an icon and hide it on tablets and mobile phones. Here go the slider settings. If you like this type in effect, you can enable it toggling this to show. Change the type in cursor, so it can also be like three dots or pretty much anything you want to put in there. You can enable or disable posts autoplay and the autoplay speed and show or hide control arrows. You can also choose the type of the arrow for your controls, which are these two paging arrows. Now let's go to the style tab where you can set the background for your container, the padding, the border radius, etc. I'm gonna go with very very light and slightly noticeable solid border and increase the padding to 15. Now let's go to the widget title settings. I'll leave it as black and in the typography settings I'll increase the size to 32. Change the font family, the weight and the style. Here we go. And you have some regular settings for the typography. You can also enable the title pointer, which is this little arrow. I'll make it a little bit more noticeable so you can see what this is. Like so. It's just pointing towards the post from the title. I will hide it for now and in the current date tab, you can change the way the current date is displayed. And now in the post tab, you have some padding, margin settings, the settings for the thumbnail, and I'll actually increase the border radius. So let it be three, so it's a little bit rounded. And I'm going to close this tab and move on to the pageant errors. Like here, you can change the position of the arrows.
like so. And here you can tweak the style of the arrows. So the font color will be white and the background will be blue. And I'll increase the border radius a little bit. Make the box size a little smaller, like so. And then hover the font color is going to change to black. So we're pretty much done. And let's update and have a look at the changes. So here we go, here's the new sticker that we have just created. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Now you know how easy and fast it is to create a new sticker with the help of JetBlock plugin. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching!